This is the third worksheet for the eighth grade. So we're going to be solving linear equations again. And we're going to be deciding whether there's one, no, or infinite solutions. Now we have 5x plus 20 is equal to 60. You subtract 20 on both sides, and you get 40 is equal to 5x. Divide 5 on both sides, and you get 8. That means that there's only one solution, and it's x is equal to 8. Moving on. 51 plus 2x is equal to 204. Now you subtract 51 on both sides, giving you 3, 10 minus 5, which is 5, and then 153. So you get 2x is equal to 153. Now if you divide 2 on both sides, you get 153 divided by 2. Now, since this is only one solution, that's your answer. One solution, and it's x is equal to 153 divided by 2. Moving on. You have 4 plus 4x is equal to 16. You subtract 4 on both sides, and you get 16 minus 4, which is 12, is equal to 4x. Divide 4 on both sides, and you get x is equal to 3. Since x is equal to 3, you only have one solution, which, which is just x equals 3. Moving on, 5 plus 30x is equal to 60. You subtract 5 on both sides, which gives you 55 is equal to 30 over x. You divide 30 on both sides, and you get x is equal to 55 divided by 30. Now you can simplify this, but because it was asking you whether it's one solution, two solution, one solution, infinite solutions, or no solutions, because you already have this as in your answer, you can just say that there's only one solution, which is x is equal to 55 divided by 30. Moving on, you have negative 4 is equal to 12 minus 2x. You subtract 12 on both sides. And you get negative 16 is equal to negative 2x. Divided by negative 2 on both sides gives you x is equal to 8. Now, since x is equal to 8, you only have one solution, which, which is this. So that would be your answer. Now, let's try 25 is equal to 46 minus, 3, minus 3x. Now, what you have to do is you just have to subtract 46 on both sides, giving you 1 negative 21, which is equal to negative 3x. Now, you divide negative 3 on both sides, giving you only one answer, x is equal to 7. Now, because x is equal to 7, there is only one solution. Moving on. You have 8 is equal to 9. 8 is equal to 9 minus 5x. You subtract 9 on both sides, and you get negative 5x is equal to negative 1. You divide negative 5 on both sides, and you get x is equal to 1 fifth, giving you only, again, one solution. Moving on. You have 6 times x minus 9 is equal to 12. You distribute the 6 to each of your terms, giving you 6x minus 54, which is equal to 12. Now we add 54 on both sides, giving us 66, which is equal to 6x. Since we can divide 6 on both sides, we get x is equal to 11. So because x is equal to 11, there's only one solution. Now, let's see. Let's try 17. 5 times 4x minus 3 is equal to 11. What you have to do is you have to distribute the terms, which gives you 20 time, 20x minus 15, which is equal to 11. We add 15 on both sides, giving us 26 is equal to 20 over 20 times x. You divide 20 on both sides, giving you 26 over 20, which you can simplify further. But since we already have our answer, one solution, we can just move on. 18. Negative 3 times 2x plus 1 is equal to 21. You distribute, again, this term with the terms inside the parentheses, and you get negative 6x minus 3. It's equal to 21. 21. You add 3 on both sides, giving you 24, which is equal to negative 6x. You divide negative 6 on both sides, and you get x is equal to negative 4. Now, because it's x equal to negative 4, you only have one solution. 
Let's try number 19. Negative 9 x minus 4 is equal to 54. Since you have this term here, you can just distribute it again inside the parentheses, giving you negative 9x plus 36, which is equal to 54. You subtract 36 on both sides, and you get 14 minus 6, which is 8, and 4 minus 3, which is 1. And you get negative 9x. You divide negative 9 on both sides, and you get x is equal to negative 2. Since x is equal to negative 2, there is only one solution given for this equation. Now, we go on to number 20. 29 x plus 2 is equal to 4 x plus 12. You subtract 2 on both sides, but you also subtract 4 x on both sides as well. If we do that, 12 minus 2 is 10. 4 x minus 4 x is 0, which is equal to 2 minus 2 is 0. 9 x minus 4 x is 5 x. So what you can do is you can divide 5 on both sides, and it gives you x is equal to 2. Once again, just only one solution. Now, moving on. Let's try number 23. 20 plus 2x is equal to 6 plus 9x. You subtract 2x on both sides, and you subtract 6 on both sides. What do you get? 20 minus 6, which is 14, is equal to 9 minus 2x, which is 7x. You divide 7 on both sides, and you get x is equal to 2. Since x is equal to 2, you know that you have only one solution. Moving on, let's see. Let's try 26 and 27. 5x minus 6 is equal to 18 minus 3x. You add 3x on both sides to get rid of that negative 3x, and you add 6 on both sides to get rid of that negative 6. So 18 plus 6 is 24, which is equal to 8x. Divide 8 on both sides, x is equal to 3. Since x is equal to only 3, you only have one solution. 10 minus 2x is equal to 12 minus 6x. You add 2x on... Actually, let's make this easier. You add 6x on both sides, so that whatever remains is going to be a positive number. And subtract negative. you subtract 10 on both sides. Doing that gives us 6x minus 2x, which is 4x, plus 10 minus 9, which is 0. 12 minus 10 is 2. Negative 6x plus 6x is just 0. So all you're left with is 4x is equal to 2. You divide both sides by 4, and x is equal to 2, 4. 2 over 4, which is just 1 half. Since x is equal to 1 half, you only have one solution. And that's it for... The third, work, the third worksheet for the 8th grade.